Good morning, my name is Patrick Henry and this is the Unbreakable series. It's five o'clock in the morning. I like to get myself set off early in the morning on a weekday, set my day off in the right way, get down the gym, push myself to the limit, work out hard. You know, the early bird gets the worm and all of that. And then I know that if I push myself to the limit, then nothing's gonna top that. The day's only gonna be uphill from here. It only gets easier. So let's get going. I like to push myself hard. I like to go to what I think are my limits. And I always have this conversation with people about what actually are your limits and how far you can really push yourself. And I always say, it doesn't matter how far you think your limits are. If you can still walk up the stairs after a leg day, then you haven't reached your limits. You know, there's still more to give. So I guess that's why my, my work belt says one more rep, because to me, there's always more in the tank. There's always more that you can give. Yeah, and that's also my philosophy for life. I always think there's more that I can give. There's more that I can contribute. So I'm gonna run through a routine. We're gonna push it as far as we can. We're gonna try and see if we can beat last week's results. That's all we can do. Competition's in the mirror. Let's see if we can smash it. Not the mirror, literally, but you know, smash the goals and stuff, okay. Oh, Daddy broke his spatula yesterday. A stegosaurus? Yeah. How much stegosaurus? They're dinosaurs. You're a dinosaur. Mm. So the mission is put six. Three, two, three, six. And what about Spanish? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. What? Spent me already. But there's seven, so the mission is put seven. Seven? Yeah. No, oh, six is enough. We're only having a little snack. Right, down you get some before chaos ensues. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Genghis. This is Patrick the Fourth. He's named after me. <laughs> I'm named after my dad. Who's named after his dad? Uh huh. Thank you. Not much. <laughs> you can't record this. Uh, right, tie. You know, not everybody in my industry wears a suit anymore. You know, collar and tie and all of that. But to me, it conveys something about me. It shows I'm serious about what I do. It shows that I respect you. So I'm putting in the most effort that I possibly can to present myself in a certain way. You know, you only get one chance at a first impression, and I want to make sure that mine counts. Mini Man lifestyle, baby. Can't forget the packed lunch. It's difficult to expect everything to run smoothly if you're not prepared. My first company was Patrick Henry, and obviously it shares my name. It's a passion project of mine because I've started my career in a state agency, and now I have my very own. I get to run it in my own way, taking care of people, trying to add a human touch to what is a pretty much faceless industry. Morning, gentlemen and gentle ladies. A very important email from the NHS, and I've decided to not forward it on to James as soon as I get it, which is very naughty. Blooming good price. We should let that straight away, please. Beat them, but never beat them, but guys. One thing that we've the, one of the main things that I think we picked up on from the changes that have included the EIFCR reports is how important communication is. Um, I think that's a big reason for why we've had our issues. Um, so whether we're talking about the move-in down the road, or the tenants being flexible with the move-in dates, and us not taking that into account, and then them moving in unhappy. Poor communication, whether it's us working here, 
is an easy way to break down and fray the situation that you're in. So communication is key. Giving as much information to the relevant people as possible, as consistently as possible, is a way to make sure that relationship stays tight. So what people don't do, which is something that takes up a lot of their time, is they don't close conversations down. You know, it's a very old sales um, saying, which is A, B, C, always being close. And it's very cliche, and you don't really use it anymore, no one really use it anymore. But the, as with most old sayings, there's some value to it. And the value to always be closing, if you use it in this context, is rather than going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with people, answering small questions and like, what ifs and what ifs, we use a simple A and B situation, A and B works, okay, so if I do this, will you do that? Not, okay, you like that, okay, off I go and just find that out. Okay, if I do this, and that person says yes, are you gonna do that? Are you happy for me to do that? Me, I was a handyman, gas engineer, <laughs> saves a day multiple times, invoices me once every three months to scare the crap out of me. I paid you for the invoice! 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 I No, because it's a big bloody invoice, that's why you said it. I mean, tag. No, tag, tag, tag. £2,228. That's how much it was. Yeah. Are you my witness? Vlog. You're my witness. Two thousand two hundred twenty-eight pounds. Nihal Miller. Reference: bankrupting Patrick Henry. Now you pay. Oh, it's not that bad. Mm. And I still don't mind getting my hands dirty from time to time. No matter how much I don't enjoy it. Radiance London was the second company I opened. We've got one salon in Clapham South and another in Clapham Junction and we're looking to expand further this year. Reliance Design and Build is a third company that I started. It's a building contracting firm. We build properties, we extend them, we refurbish them. We do pretty much anything that's needed in residential and commercial properties. We're now outside a property that we're developing in Ballam Grove. Sorry, but you know, I know we've offered one thing, but you've advertised another, so we'll take that. The barn is different. <laughs> Nothing exists. Oh, it's the same fucking shit. It's the brand name. Oh, I'll just slice my thumb open, I think. I don't think it would be the first time it'd be. Oh, gosh, Elizabeth. Hold on. Elizabeth! Is that name? Uh, what? Uh, Bun Grove? Yeah. Uh, sorry, yeah, yeah. Why? Is there a crackhead sitting in our bed? So I'll be quite impressive. Okay, so the, the story behind this uh, refurbishment that we're going through is quite a long one. About ooh, five, maybe six years ago, and I bought the house next door. Uh, it was in a less than desirable condition. Uh, refurbished the property, rented it out for a year or two, and then sold it to the current occupiers. Um, and then the lady that owns this house that we're in right now asked me if I could help let her property for her through Patrick Henry. Of course, I was happy to oblige. And then about a year or two later, she started talking about the property itself, how much we could increase the rent by by doing certain improvements, um, what we did next door, and then what the ultimate value would be of that property. Is it worth doing? Um, and we decided yes, or she decided yes. 
And since then, we've undertaken the refurbishment works. Right, this is Jimmy, number one DJ, coming in your ear holes. Live on a Wednesday afternoon, JD right away on Kiss FM, coming real soon. Wednesday night, Tuesday night, 8 till 10. If you want to join me on Monday morning, join me on www.stopradio.com, 7 till midday. Soul Togetherness with Patrick Henry. Coming in, in your ears, baby, coming in your ears. Coming in your life. Coming in your life. <laughs> <laughs> live here. I'm still listening to something radius. himself around, she's our manager here. Yes. <laughs> she also yeah. uses some beds more than anyone else. <laughs> no, actually. Hi. I bet you are. This is basically God's way of punishing me for this beautiful haircut that I've got. Um, given how busy we are today, he felt like putting some sort of animal in our vent system. So we're here now to investigate what is happening and how we can fix it. So we've got Stashy. Hello. Lions Design and Build. Come here to find out what's going on and which animal we can rescue. So to all the vegans out there, we're doing our bit. When Dash, let's speak positively. When we sell it. What are you going to see? What are you going to find here? What are you going to put out your magic hat, Dashi? What the fuck? Yeah! Are you Fucking hell, mate. Seriously. It's alive, yeah? Yeah, got it, got it. Come on, mate. There we are. We just saved the pigeon. Oh, shit! I feel bad. Outside, mate. Come on. Out! Exit! Through the door! Maybe not. Come back here. Come on. Did you this way. Hey, pigeon! Where's it gone? God damn it! <laughs> oh Reliance Health is the fourth company that I opened, and we specialize in the installation of medical equipment, primarily in operating theatres and critical areas in hospitals and clinical environments. Alright guys, that's the end of the day, the usual 9 to 7 is done and now I'm going to go in, probably put the kids to bed, wrestle with them, a couple headlocks, sort them all out, put them down for the night. Any questions you guys have, anything you want me to talk about in the next one, which is coming out next week, please do let us know. Hope you enjoyed this one, it's been great fun recording it, hope you enjoy, please leave feedback, like, share, subscribe, do all of that lovely stuff and help me create more content. Till then.